Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to measure mass, which if you'll recall is the amount of matter in an object, or how much stuff is in an object. And we're going to be measuring this using what's called an electronic balance, which you can see here. Now the way this works is you take whatever object you want to measure the mass of, and you place it on this tray on top of the balance, and the mass is displayed in this window. So let's take a closer look at that window. There are a whole bunch of buttons on here, but there are really only two that we're interested in. First, the on-off button, which turns the machine on or off, and the zero button, which we'll get into a little bit later. So press the on button, turn the machine on, and you'll see some text displayed in the window, but you want to wait until you see all zeros before you put anything on the tray. So again, never put anything on the tray before you've started up the balance and it reads all zeros. Also notice this G, which stands for grams, that tells us what units we're measuring in. So let's go ahead and measure the mass of this little metal cube. You set it on the tray, remove your hand, and the balance will tell you the mass. So in this case, the mass is 70.4 grams. Now one thing we want to look at is how we might measure the mass of something that doesn't fit on that tray very well. For instance, if I want to measure the mass of this blue liquid, I can't very well just pour that on the tray. It would get inside the balance, mess with the electronics, we don't want that. And I can't very well just set the container on there because that 129.8 grams is the mass of the container and the liquid. I only want the mass of the liquid. So it turns out there are two ways to do this, and we are going to look at both of them. The first way is finding the mass by subtraction. So the big idea here is we're going to find the mass of the container, and then the mass of the container and the liquid, and do some math from there. So I need another container to pour the liquid into. So you can see I've got this beaker over here. And what I'm going to do is before I put the liquid in that beaker, I'm going to get the mass of that beaker. And so here we see it's 59.3 grams. Now I'm going to take that beaker off of the balance, pour the blue liquid into the other beaker, and put it back on there. So now I can see with the beaker with the liquid in it, it's 127.6 grams. Now I can take those two facts, put them together, and figure out the mass of the liquid. Because if you take the mass of the beaker and the liquid together, the 127.6, and subtract the mass of the empty beaker, all I'm left with is the mass of the liquid. So if we do that, we find that 127.6 minus 59.3 is 68.3 grams, and so that must be the mass of the liquid. A second way to find the mass of the liquid is by using the zero button on the balance. So you remember we talked about that earlier but didn't go into detail as to what it does. So in order to use this method, we're going to need a second beaker just as before, and just as before we put this on the balance while it's empty. So you can see 59.3 grams just as before. Now what we're going to do is press that zero button on the front of the balance. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the balance to ignore the 59.3 grams from the beaker. If we go ahead and press that button, you can see that the balance is going to read zero. Now I can take that beaker off, add the liquid to it, and put it back on the balance, and the balance will only show me the mass of the liquid, which is 68.3 grams. 